This week's video is a rapid fire guide to Anki. Let's get right into it. Anki is a digital flashcard application that helps build your memory using an algorithm that shows you the flashcard at increasing intervals of time. It allows you to spend more time on topics you need to learn while maintaining your memory of earlier concepts. To get started, you'll need to download Anki on your computer. There are Mac and Windows versions both available. There's also a mobile app that you can use, which is free for Android and costs around $25 for iOS. Once you open Anki, it should look similar to this. I've taken the liberty of customizing my Anki using add-ons to improve my study aesthetic, but we won't cover that in this video. From here, you can either make your own cards or import some from online. Anki is being used by tons of people from around the world for a variety of different purposes. For example, if you wanted to study for the MCAT, you could take one of these decks, download it, then double click it. This will import it as a new deck into Anki. You can immediately begin learning from there if you like. The default Anki settings are what I used for the longest time, and I have to say they aren't bad for cramming. I also like to customize some of the settings to optimize for long-term learning. To customize your settings, click the gear next to your deck and select options. From there, you'll want to click manage, then add. This allows us to create a new set of settings that you can choose to use on a particular deck of cards. You can call this options group recommended settings. My favorite Anki settings for long-term learning would be first set the steps to 15, 1,440, 86,401. For the next line, you can leave the order as is. Set the new cards per day to 9,999, which is the maximum amount. Set your graduating interval to 15 days. Set your easy interval to 60 days. Set your starting ease at 250%. Then go into the Reviews tab, set Easy Bonus to 130%, set Interval Modifier to 100%, set Maximum Interval to 90 days. Then go to the Lapses tab, set Steps to 20 minutes, set New Interval to 70%, set Minimum Interval to 2 days, Leech Thresholds to 8 lapses, Leech Action to Tag Only. Now you're good to go. Whenever you use a new deck, make sure to select this options group. There are two key ways of making cards that are pretty much essential to know. The easiest way to demonstrate this is using the world capitals as an example, where we'll make the card about the capital of Canada, which is Ottawa. The simplest card type that'll probably make you type the most is the basic card type, which functions as a traditional flashcard with a front and a back. After typing in the contents of the card, you can click add or use the shortcut command enter for Mac or control enter for Windows. If you want a bit of a quicker way of making the same card, you can make a closed deletion card, which is like a fill in the blank type situation. With this card, there's only a front section that you have to fill out. Then you can select the part of the text you want to make the blank using the shortcut command shift C on Mac or control shift C on Windows to get a closed deletion. With closed deletion cards, there's an additional section that isn't mandatory, but you can fill it out and it's called extra. Here you can put in some other resources that you want to see along with the answer. I usually like to add a picture that helps me remember it or some information that provides some other context with the answer. This is how a basic card will look and this is what a closed deletion will look like. I'm going to quickly make some more World Capital cards to show you what the process of learning using Anki would look like. This card is asking me what the capital of Canada is. I think it's Ottawa. I can press spacebar to show the answer and it tells me that it's Ottawa. I got it right, so I can press good. And the first time that I'm being tested on this card, if I press good, it's going to show it to me tomorrow. That's going to help me remember it if I was to forget. I can also hit easy because I just so happen to live in Canada and don't anticipate forgetting the capital. And that won't show me the card for another 60 days. The next question is, what is the capital of Kazakhstan? I don't really know this one. And I can hit space bar to see the answer and it's telling me it's Nur Sultan and I didn't really know it. And because of that, I can click again, meaning that it's going to show it to me within another 15 minutes. And now I want to try and remember that the capital of Kazakhstan is Nur Sultan. And in the meantime, we'll go on to do other cards. So now this card is asking me, what is the capital of Greece? I know it's Athens, so I can press spacebar and I'll see that it's Athens. 
and I know this one, but not so well. So I'll click good and it'll show it to me within another day. Then I can come back and review these cards again the next day and Anki will decide which cards I need to review for that day. The last thing to cover is the browse feature, which allows you to search through your existing cards. The search bar can be super helpful if you're looking for a particular card. It's nowhere as good as Google, so you'll have to use the exact spelling and wording, but not the exact order. Then when you're done for the day, make sure to synchronize Anki to keep all your progress safe on the cloud. I hope you found this quick rundown of how to use Anki helpful. There are a lot of other things that you can do with Anki that are beyond the scope of this video, but what I have shown you should give you enough to begin enhancing your learning using Anki. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content to help you get admitted to medical school. I'll leave it at that. Stay happy and healthy.